Welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to the Modern Theory of Polarization, a series of modules to help you understand how the electric polarization is defined, calculated and measured in bulk periodic solids. Brought to you by Schrodinger's Kittens Productions. Here we'll discuss the solutions to the exercises of Module 1. Our first exercise question in Module 1 was to calculate the electric dipole for this molecule, in which the anion has charge minus 2q and the cation charge plus q. Before we start, we notice that this is not a neutral molecule, but has an overall charge of minus q. Now let's calculate the dipole moment, taking the anion as the origin. In this case, the dipole is minus 2q times 0, plus q times d. And taking the cation as the origin, we get p is equal to plus q times 0, plus minus 2q times minus d, which is 2qd. That's twice as big as the first case. So we see that in this case, the dipole moment of the molecule depends on the choice of the origin we use when we calculate it. The reason for this is that the molecule is charged and the dipole moment of a charged molecule is not well defined. In fact, in general, the values of higher order multipoles, in this case the electric dipole, become ambiguous when the lower order multipoles, in this case the electric charge, are non-zero. In our second exercise for this module, we were given these data for the bond lengths in angstroms and the dipole moments in units of the charge on the electron times angstroms for two dipolar molecules, hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen chloride. Defining P is equal to Q effective times D, we calculate the effective charges on the ions in the hydrogen fluoride molecule to be 0.38 divided by 0.92, which is 0.41 electron charges. And the effective charges on the ions in hydrogen chloride are 0.23 divided by 1.27, which is 0.18 electron charges. Since fluorine is more electronegative than chlorine, hydrogen fluoride is more ionic than hydrogen chloride. As a result, both the dipole moment and the effective charges on the ions are larger in HF than in HCl. Now you're ready to move on to module two in the series, when we'll make a bulk periodic solid out of our molecule and look at the trouble this causes us. Thanks for listening.